Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial on Katia V5. And if you are a beginner in Katia or you have never tried it before, this video is gonna help you a lot because I'm gonna start with the sketcher and part design and the very beginner. So as you can see, we are in the Katia V5 workbench. So all we can do is uh, we can go to start mechanical and part design so this part design is basically where you design all your parts so we can call it exercise one okay once you are in the part design you can see different options over here in the menu bar file edit view insert all those options and this is the tree basically uh, we have uh, these three planes x y y z z x and uh, whatever you are gonna make in this uh, uh, workbench it's gonna come under the part body so let's make a simple sketch here so that i can sh teach you how to do the sketching in katia v5 so we'll take like, we'll take one plane so you can take any of the planes I'll go for YZ and then you can go for sketch on this option so you are in the sketcher workbench now so you can see there are different tools profile rectangle circle and all these helpful tools which you are gonna use to sketch your profile so uh, let's start with the profile tool and grab it here and start somewhere around here go up horizontal then more up then horizontal then we will give it an incline till here Let's keep it till there so we'll press the escape and we'll, uh, we'll uh, es uh, after pressing the escape key you are no more in the profile so this is uh, your profile right now uh, I want to mirror this profile uh, with this axis so select your profile all right and select the profile gonna use the mirror tool here you can find it easily you can see or you can go in here insert and uh, transformation mirror and select your axis Mm, one more thing is we need to join these uh, open ends so I'll go for a line select this point and this point and this is your sketch now you can see the only this line is green and all other are white so what this means is the green one means that it is fully constrained the fully constrained means it is fully defined I mean uh, you cannot uh, see you cannot uh, move it up and down so it's it's uh, coinciding with the horizontal axis and it is uh, fixed with that uh, while these axes which are white you can see I can move it very easily and change the dimension so, so this constraint is very important in, in, in designing so we have to fix this all the white white things all the white lines we have to make it green so for that we'll go to constraint we'll give the dimensions to this edge you see mm, they are turning to green now moreover again we'll give the dimension from this to this another dimension for this one and we'll give the angular dimension between these two also we need to give the height from this to this and the final from here to here so as soon as I complete uh, the constraint option you see the whole sketch turn screen which means it is fully constrained and it is a perfect sketch now after that you can edit all your values so I'm just double click sign values 
double click assign values and do it fast so all the uh, dimensions are in mm, mm millimeters you can see it very clearly how much is this one 20 and this one is 45 so we are done with the dimensions and your sketch is complete after your sketch is done you can exit your sketcher workbench from here and we need to pad this go for pad okay yeah, take the length anything preview it preview it if you want to give the same pad on both sides of the axis so just select the mirrored extent it's done that's how simple it is So this is very much the beginners or only for the beginners because uh, who are very new to the Katia V5 software and this is gonna help them a lot I think so more videos like these are coming in the upcoming videos make sure to subscribe and like this video share with your friends who are in designing and see you guys in the next video Thank you so much and peace.